I am standing in a Moorish castle today in Sintra near Lisbon, Portugal. Sightseeing time. This video was entirely captured on a smartphone. Join us to learn how to capture your experiences on the go. Travelvids.tv, video creation for absolute beginners. Let's go to Sintra, Portugal. Seven o'clock in the morning in Lisbon. My name is Dean Palmer and you're watching Travelvids.tv. And this is our outing to Sintra. We're gonna catch an Uber and a train over to Sintra now and go and explore a mystical and beautiful part of the greater Lisbon area. Just arrived at Entre Campos, the train station where I am going to meet Max Nomad. But who is Max Nomad? Let's jump back a little to the previous evening. This evening I'm meeting up with the travel channel Max Nomad, who is a travel video content creator for YouTube. I've met him online, we've done some work together and he is in Lisbon at the moment. I'm Max Nomad and I run a travel channel where I show different cities in Europe mostly and give advice how to travel there at the moment, especially now taking advantage of the fact that there's much, much less tourism than before. And I always really try to give like background information about the, the history of the places that I'm visiting, about the culture. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Max and I decided to meet up in Lisbon to find some traditional fado music to go along with some Portuguese cuisine. And there he is! <laughs> I'm always in the shot. We stepped into a place called Club de Fado, where the show had already begun. It was a three-piece band with a singer playing in an old hall with high ceilings. The acoustics and the intimacy of the performance was absolutely electric. Since being in Portugal, I had not yet tried any of the famous bacalhau dishes. If ever there was a time, this was it. And just as our food arrived, we were delighted to have another show start up. The energy and the passion of these musicians is truly awesome. Live music, traditional food, and of course we're ending it off with a pastel de nata. Okay, I'm sold. Really good. Max and I didn't have much time to talk during dinner or the show. So we decided to have a night walk of the city and plan our visit to Sintra for the next day. A good night of fade music and bacalhau. Thank you for the invite, Max. Sure. <laughs> Definitely also check out Max's channel, especially the final video, which will be all about Lisbon. The plan is to meet up at the train station at 8 a.m. See you tomorrow. Train station where I am going to meet Max Nomad. Good morning. It's good to sleep. The train from Sintra to Lisbon runs every 30 minutes and costs less than five euros for a return trip. This was a great way to see some of the Portuguese countryside as I had been in lockdown for the last few months. We also got some time to chat about camera gear and what kind of gear Max uses, which we'll share with you in a bit, but also what was on the immediate agenda. The main reason for coming to Sintra is to see the palaces and Pena Palace was the first thing on our list. It's really nice to be traveling with somebody who also does this. <laughs> it's like, what's he doing? What's he doing? Let's get that shot. The first castle only opens in an hour, so we're gonna go grab ourselves a coffee at uh, Saudade. It's 
suddenly the misty gray weather outside is very welcome. What a delicate pastry. Portugal is winning on the pastry front. We just popped out of the coffee shop and met Journey here. <laughs> Best rice rider from Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> and he's offered to give us a ride up to the first location. Wow. The road just driving up to the place. It's these windy little roads and the mist, although we're looking forward to having some sun a bit later, is really adding to the, the magical feeling of palaces. You can buy a ticket to just enter the grounds and see the, the gardens and the park. And then you can also buy an extended ticket, which is what we've got, to go into the actual palace itself. This really is like a fairy tale forest. And the fact that you know that there's a palace somewhere in here just takes it to a whole nother level. Tourism is clearly not back to normal. And although it was nice to have the place to ourselves, it was a stark reminder of the reality we're facing. I just wanted to take this moment to also point out that I'm only occasionally taking my mask off when I'm outside and not near other people. We've got to respect the rules if we want tourism to make a full recovery. So if you are traveling again, please, Travel safe. I can't get enough of it. Mashing together of what looked like different architectural styles and just the incredible attention to detail in things like the ceilings or the trimmings on the door frames. Every single room is different. I see you are using a lot of different cameras. What uh -huh. what are you've got? What are, what is your what are you like the things that you swap between. When I first started out I, I just used my phone and my GoPro and then later I continued to get a mirrorless camera mm -hmm. for like the b-roll shots for like the nicer nicer scenes that I want to film but it really depends a lot on situations. The big advantage of the GoPro is that you just pull it out and you press and you're ready to go. With the proper camera you need to set it up first it takes a bit longer so I really like to, to mix it up. And one thing I can really recommend is to, to add a few shots of yourself in there. That's when a tripod is really cool. Then you can just put your phone or your GoPro on a tripod and walk. And uh, it adds a new perspective to your videos. I think that's really useful to have. So from your point of view, how important is it to have like a, a, like a drone and these fancy gear to make a video, experience video of your travels? Uh, yeah, so I don't think that a drone is, is necessary and you can really get started with your phone. I think that's that's a really good camera already that you have right there and you have it always with you and you can set up your phone in, in seconds. That's a big advantage. You can just take it out and capture the moment. It's really more about knowing what to film and when to film instead yeah. of having like the, the most expensive gear. How many cities have you like filmed and made videos about already? Uh, about 15 by now Whew. and I hope that I can add a lot more this summer. Yeah, we got lots more to see. So what's next? Where, where are we off to now? Uh, next we're going to the Moorish Castle, which is supposed to be the, uh, the big wall of Portugal, so to speak. It kind of looks like the big wall in China. Yeah. So. second stop is just down here. This is the Moorish Castle. It's quite a bit older than the first one. Probably gonna say this like a hundred times today, but I can't get over the fact how magical, mystical, fantasy, fairy tale-like this place is. And although 
maybe it would be nice with the sun out and you could actually see the castles up through the trees there's something to be said about the mist it just adds another layer of mysticism to it romantic i have a feeling that would be our viewpoint normally adults can play too <laughs> almost looks artificial it's like it was created to be enjoyed by us tourists but to think that this was like a real way of life this, this was all real it was used people stood here and fought wars and like history happened here <laughs> and that is the magic of travel isn't it it's that we get to come experience these things i knew there were castles i knew they had palaces here i knew it had history but I'm always overwhelmed when you actually come and stand on the location. Hello, fellow, fl fellow vlogger. It's supposed to be a really good view. <laughs> All the way down the valley. This is the view today. We're just, we're going to look the other way. Yeah. Gotta watch your step here. How do you plan a shoot day? Like, uh, like a travel day? What's your idea behind planning a day like this? I basically just want to cover as many sites as possible usually because my videos are usually like top 20, top 25, top 30 recommendations about mm -hmm. a city or about a specific place. So I do quite a lot of research before trying to find out the best sites and then creating like an itinerary. I usually make a checklist on my phone so I can kind of check off the sites as I visit them. It's kind of a nice feeling. Cool. <laughs> feel accomplished. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I usually like get the information from from travel blogs, uh, travel blogs as well, and uh, from guidebooks like Lovely Planet, and then just combine them to try to make my own ideal plan. And then, of course, always like to try to be able to be spontaneous nonetheless. And if I see something cool on the way, I might add that in as well. Yep. What's next now? So now we're gonna go back to Sintra and have lunch. I'm looking forward to that. Sounds good to me. <laughs> If you come to Sintra, don't hesitate. Call me, and then we are go we are we are gonna do a good tour here. This is my page in Facebook. Sintra Cuban Tours, the best in the world. I speak a German, Italian, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, and English. A little bit French, a little bit Russian, a little bit Chinese, but it's okay. Thank you so much. It's been good. Thank you, my friend. Well, we just got uh, dropped off in the middle of Sintra at a place recommended to us right on a side street somewhere. I'm hungry. Steak, egg and chips. Although my meal may not have been the most photogenic or Instagram friendly meal ever, it certainly was very tasty, way bigger than it looked and very well priced. The sauce on this is absolutely amazing. That was a massive amount of food. <laughs> it was really, really good. Now we'll hopefully give you some energy for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> On to the next palace. Max, this is where we uh this is where we're gonna part ways for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. To have a have an awesome rest of your trip. Thank you. I look forward to seeing the the finished video, which we'll link to over here, right next to you. Now, Perfect. say watch my video. Please, please <laughs> click here and check out my video. I think it's gonna be great. Max is off to go and see some more palaces, and obviously he's got a whole itinerary for the rest of Portugal. If you would like to see the full details of those videos, they will be linked in the description below and also on the end screens you can see his channel.